Ever buy an expensive course or product online and have no idea how you went from not knowing a thing about the product to being willing to shell out big bucks for it? You're not alone. What most people don't know is that marketers are constantly fighting a war for your attention and trust. This book with a comically long subtitle, Launch, an Internet Millionaire's Secret Formula to Sell Almost Anything Online, Build a Business You Love, and Live the Life of Your Dreams, essentially boils down the prevalent tactics in that war into often actionable strategies marketers and entrepreneurs can use to create and build relationships with an audience. Now let's dive in and fill you in on some of the key concepts from the book. The opening chapter set the stage for the secret formula that Jeff Walker preaches. First, he tells his own story of moving from Mr. Mom to Millionaire Marketer in a short period using the formula after a messy business partnership breakup. Then he shares a case study of a man living on food stamps who used the same formula to get six figures in an extremely niche market, teaching people what kind of stuff they can eat from a forest. Yep, foraging, as in hunter-gatherer type stuff. And he started his herbal empire by selling a nerdy sounding game called Wildcraft. These compelling stories point out the possibilities of using the formula, all without telling you much about how it was done. The first couple chapters come across as a bit of a brag fest in all honesty. I'm so rich, I've helped others become rich. I changed the internet marketing world. That last statement is a pretty direct paraphrase of something Walker says throughout the book. It's repeated so often that it becomes annoying by the end of the book. Consider yourself warned. That said, he really has done a lot of work to change the field of internet marketing. And tons of marketers and entrepreneurs follow his lead in a direct way, so I can't really refute the statement. The meat of this book is, if you have a loyal list, you'll be able to monetize it. Walker goes so far as to call a list a license to print money. Can't really argue there either. His formula teaches how to move from hope marketing, or trying things and hoping they work, to event marketing, where people are primed in and in anticipation, conversations are forming around your launch, and you're not just shouting, buy my stuff, into an echo chamber. He talks in terms of sequences, stories, and triggers that will get the kind of engagement and trust you need for people to spend hard-earned money on you. Here's the secret sauce. Launches work best if there's anticipation built up. But if you throw a product or opportunity at a cold list, it's kind of like throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping it will stick. Some might for a little while, but it's sure to come down eventually. So Walker uses four concrete steps to move from a happening to an event with your marketing. That's this. 1. The pre-pre-launch. 2. Pre-launch. 3. Launch. And 4. <laughs> you guessed it. Post-launch. Pre-pre-launch builds anticipation among loyal fans, builds your list, and gives you an indication if the market will be receptive. He outlines 10 questions to ask yourself in pre-pre-launch, including gems like how can I let people know something is coming without having it feel like I'm trying to sell them something? Or, how can I figure out what their objections are to this product? These are valuable questions to consider in building curiosity and anticipation that will roll into engagement and participation later. That means money in your wallet. Walker says his favorite pre-pre-launch strategy is an email and or social media post with the subject line, Quick Announcement and a Favor. Then the brief text, text talks about an anticipated or long-awaited product on the horizon, then asks for your help answering questions, directs you to a brief survey where you become part of the conversation, and as any good communicator knows, people feel more connected to you when they tell you their story, not when you tell them yours, though that's important too. The landing page for the survey builds on the anticipation and simply says something along the lines of, we need your help to make sure we covered all the bases. Please help form the product. All this sets the stage for the pre-launch in which you build on that dialogue and begin to pre-sell them what they want. This stage involves three pieces of pre-launch content. One, the opportunity. Two, the transformation. And three, the ownership experience. The opportunity piece has to grab attention and carry it through the rest of the pre-launch. So Walker wants you to get it right. His basic outline for this is to one, show the opportunity. Two, position yourself and tell why they should listen to you. Three, teach and deliver value. They've got to know, like, and trust you. This is huge. Four, raise possible researched objections and answer them or promise to do so. 
5 foreshadowed the transformation. Last of all is the omnipresent call to action. And he likes for people to respond or participate in a blog or, or social media post to react to this, to build buzz online. Next, you'll usher them into the transformation content and answer the question, how will this improve or enrich my life? Walker says you do that by one, thanking them for the questions and comments they had during the first phase, and then recap that quickly and acquaint them with the first piece of pre-launch content just in case they skipped it. Then you recap your positioning of who you are and why people should listen to you. Then you present a case study or do some real teaching. Teaching one or two things your prospect can implement immediately. Something that is super actionable will build a lot of trust. Then you crush the objections that you might have brought up in the last piece of content. You foreshadow the ownership experience and especially the changes that will come out of it. And then you call them to action. Again, for social or blog post comments. The ownership experience content is next, and this drives home the need for the product after you've indoctrinated your prospects with the opportunity and the transformation. For this, you'll express thanks and excitement from both you and other launch participants like them. Then you'll recap the opportunity and your positioning. This will be briefer even than the first two times you've done it. And then you'll optionally present a brief case study, something that'll get them excited about what can happen to them. And then fourth, you'll answer the top questions you've gotten, explain the big change coming and how to make it happen. And then after this, you're gonna start pivoting to the offer and you can create a soft landing without turning into a used car salesman. This is a hard thing for a lot of people. But you'll need to also seed scarcity. Let people recognize that this is a one-time offer, something that's not ever gonna come around again. Then of course, you'll call them to actions for more comments or social posts or participation on your blog. Walker recommends spreading the pre-launch content out over five to 10 days with shorter windows for cheaper products and longer windows for more expensive products. One of the keys to the Jeff Walker launch is to have true scarcity built in, a time when your cart opens and a time when it closes, for instance. With digital products, this is the equivalent of strangling supply to skyrocket demand. And if they don't buy within your launch window, they can expect to lose a bonus, have a higher price, or lose the offer altogether. This should build some fear of missing out, FOMO. The crazy thing about all this is that with all these steps for setup of the launch, the launch consists of a single email, reinforcing the demand you've been watching build up like a pressure cooker and a scarcity reminder. That's it. A little housekeeping and reminder emails. Yeah, sure, but that's really all you got to do to close. The method is all about building expectations prior to launch. If you've done it right with the right product and the right market, Walker says you should be able to watch the orders roll in with a smile on your face. But in case things do go wrong, Walker also covers troubleshooting and how to recover from your misfires. Pew! The post-launch is all about building relationships with the momentum you built during the launch. Maybe you should have a few extras or bonuses prepared to, to over-deliver and delight your audience, he says. You should also build out a customer onboarding process with a sequence of service-based emails that will help them get the most of what they just bought. Walker also covers how to do a launch without a list, a seed launch, or a launch with someone else's list, a joint venture or JV launch. The first is best for someone who, with no reputation and no list, while the second can be great for someone with a great reputation and no list, or possibly even a great list. But making it all work takes some finesse. Walker says these are the six keys. One, always deliver high value pre-launch content. Two, always build your list and your relationship with that list. Three, make more than one offer. He's talking like two to four per year. Use the, what he calls the circle of awesome. You start with a seed launch, move to internal launches, and then go JV launch, getting out to other people's lists. Once you have it figured out within your internal funnels, you're going to have a lot easier time with getting those partnerships set up, and it'll be a lot smoother all around. Next, you'll have relaunches or evergreen launches, and this is super dependent on list building. But then you also have to take care of your clients and launch to them again, because guess what? He says it's 15 times easier to sell to someone a second time than to get a new client. And I know from experience that's true. So this formula 
totals to what Walker calls a recipe for a big life. If that's something you want, this could be a book for you. But let me get down and do a quick and dirty review of this. Yeah, I had some nickels with this, obviously, but I'm going to give it an overall 8.4 out of 10. Jeff Walker's launch could help launch your business, but will be more likely to launch an existing business higher with great strategy, but sometimes muddy implementation. If you're a business or entrepreneur with a list, good relationships with your list, and have an information product you'd like to create or sell, you'll probably benefit quite a bit from a Walker launch. His case studies deal less with physical products than digital ones like courses. However, he says he's been widely used on physical product launches as well. That said, the book itself is tailored more to information product launches, as that's what Walker himself is familiar with doing most. My take on this is that it will be valuable to anyone trying to connect to their customers, especially if you want some sort of magic formula to catch attention and build anticipation. Really what Walker's method does best is help you build a dialogue with your customers or potential customers that informs you, gets them excited, and increases conversions. Walker tells some really great stories from the Wildcraft food stamp guy to other quick case studies he backs up with real numbers to show that yes, you can sell information on the internet especially if you're in a niche market that is hungry for information that's hard to find. The writing is mostly crisp and clear, though sometimes you're left with more questions than answers because of brevity or simple forgetfulness possibly or just leaving it for another day. You occasionally feel like this book is a bit of a lead in to Walker's higher priced products and services like his product launch formula course. See the link in the description if you're curious. And since books are more for strategies while courses tend to help you with implementation, that kind of makes sense, even if it is frustrating when you're the one with questions. Another minor annoyance I had was how much Walker builds himself up in the book. It's a lot. I know he's doing exactly what he counsels in the book to build his own credibility, but it does get a little old hearing about how great Jeff Walker is and how much he's done to change the internet. What this book doesn't always do well is give concrete steps for your business, instead showing how it worked for another business without being able to apply it universally. I also feel like it's a little light on tactics for the seed launch. The launch is where you don't have a list. The chapter on seed launch comes off as more of a pep talk than a real strategy, and unfortunately that's how a lot of the book comes across, as a pep talk that sometimes leaves you scratching your head on implementation. However, if you have a solid list, this book will prove invaluable, because the most clarity you'll find throughout the book is in the four-stage launch process to your list I've already detailed. Overall, any entrepreneur can gain a lot from launch, but those in the right situations will definitely get ahead faster with his teachings. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to make sure we can produce more similar content. And if this review has you curious about what's in the rest of the book, you'll find a link to that as well below.